Our daily Bible reading for January 11th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 6. We'll be reading verses 1 through 15. Matthew, chapter 6, beginning in verse 1. Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them. For then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. Thus, when you give to the needy, sound no trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be praised by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. When you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, you must not be like the hypocrites. They love to stand and pray in the synagogues and the street corners, that they may be seen by others. Truly, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then like this. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. A few thoughts for today. One of the real dangers in pious living is wanting our lives to be noticed by others. We may feel as though we need to show people how much we do for God. Of course, the truth is, God already knows full well our every thought and motive in our hearts, as well as our deeds. Finding what our motivation is behind our actions is imperative if we are to be pleasing to God. Perhaps a sense of hypocrisy exists in an individual that desires to be known and exalted above others. In reality, it may be that person lives a dual life, but God knows the truth. Matthew covers two areas here for our consideration, giving and praying. Each of these would be seen by others as a badge of piety. They must be very religious. See how they help the poor and pray. That wasn't something that was confined to the first century. That caution, yes, that warning is still alive and well for us today. We should not be fooled by false boastings. Later, in the same sermon, Jesus would tell them, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. We should be wary of those who try too hard to impress us of their religion. Practicing our righteousness before men to impress them, and if so accomplished, will be the only reward we shall receive. How disappointing to find that all the effort put into these deeds will yield nothing from our Heavenly Father. A question of the day. How would you go about receiving recognition for a good deed? And finally, a thought to meditate on today. Think of ways you can do favors and extend kindness to others without them knowing it. And those are our thoughts for today, January 11th.